All right, so two quick responses to Nick Cannon's comments on The Breakfast Club, specifically the clip that's kind of going viral about uh, marriage being Eurocentric. I uh, don't want to bash him, don't want to cancel him. I'm not accusing him of these things, but it's made me feel the need to respond to these ideas in the culture. So uh, first being, we got to stop rebranding our lack of sexual self-control as us coming into some new enlightenment or consciousness. Um, there's a level of responsibility we got to take for that. And two, we got to stop uh, labeling ideals that we don't want to subscribe to as Eurocentric as a way to get around it. So if we don't like something, just say it's Eurocentric. Why people been doing that? So we shouldn't do it. That's intellectually lazy. So just to give a little more detail, one, in terms of the the promiscuity thing a lot of times people will compare uh, us to animals and say animals have multiple mates so i should too i shouldn't be monogamous because animals aren't monogamous um animals throw shit they lick their asses eat their kids so what what are we really doing you know with that i think that one's easy like at least come better than that uh and then two uh a lot of the conscious community and people that are recent college graduates that think they know everything say stuff like this in terms of um, monogamy being Eurocentric and, and marriage being Eurocentric. Um, marriage is a biblical idea. Although the United States government has a process, it's a biblical idea. Um, and white people didn't write the Bible and Jesus wasn't white. Uh, those, A lot of the authors were brown people in the middle east so again i just want to challenge us to not be intellectually lazy and just uh regurgitate information that's already been debunked and not to be rude and not to be elitist it's not about going to college or not but i do know that a lot of times as speaking to brothers specifically we have barbershop talk you got folks that you kind of rant with um, may have read a little bit here and there, but real heavy on the YouTube is where a lot of this stuff comes from. And it's, um, it's pseudo scholarship. It's not intellectual. It's anti-intellectual. And I just don't like our people speaking on things, uh, with lack of information, speaking out loud and wrong. You know, Nick already made this mistake when he spoke about Jewish people. But again, when you're talking about the origins of marriage, you actually are supporting white supremacy by giving white people credit for everything. So find a better way to say that I'm against an idea than saying that white people started it.